future of the internet will be in our pockets, on our wrists, on our walls. I don't think the era of carrying around a computer and having that be our only portal to the information online, uh, I don't think that will continue much longer. I think that as we've seen with personal digital assistants, as we've seen with uh, you know, home devices that understand spoken queries, I think the, the dream that we've had for 40 years of pervasive computing is, is now becoming reality. And I think that is changing how people expect to interact with information, how people expect to interact with government, how people expect to interact with services. I think that the amount of people's time that is sucked up in going shopping, for instance, or getting their car washed, or whatever, these, these kinds of tasks are being automated and systematized and made, made efficient in ways that give people more time to focus, more time to specialize in whatever they do well. Um, I think the danger is that people use that time in ways that, uh, you know, playing a video game or something which doesn't enrich society, it doesn't reach outward to other people. I think the opportunity is that people use that time to uh, study, to become more expert, to advance the state of human knowledge, to spend time helping other people, to spend time interacting face-to-face -face with their, their neighbors and their friends and developing a, a stronger society. So I, I hope that these kinds of trivial tasks can be automated away from the, the grind of daily existence, leaving free time to enrich society.